Hi everyone, this is Fatma from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can create and delete junction links on Windows 10. So for, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a junction link to a folder in my E drive and the E drive is a USB drive. I'm going to open it and I'm going to create a folder here called target folder. And this is the folder that I'm going to create a junction link to. And I'm going to create the junction link here. But you can create it anywhere you want. All you need is the path to the folder that you want to create the junction link inside. So all you need now is the command that creates it and you have to run this command in command prompt. Open command prompt with admin rights. The command is on your screen right now and I'm going to show you how you can edit it to create your junction link. We're going to leave MK link and the slash J part as it is. The MK link tells the command prompt to make a link and the slash J tells it what kind of link to create, which in this case is the junction link. This first path is where the junction link is going to be created. If you look at the path that I showed you before, this bit already exists, but this um, link here, there's no folder called link inside my um, pictures folder on OneDrive. I have to specify this because that's going to be the name of the link that's created and you're going to have to do the same on your end. If you want to create a link that's called, for example, test, you're going to replace this with test. Uh, and the second path here is the folder that I'm linking to via the junction link. Now all I have to do is run this command and it says junction link created. That's really all there is to it. Let me show you the junction link in action. I'm going to drag and drop this file onto this junction link and it's going to be added to the E drive. If you ever need to delete a junction link, that's pretty easy. You can delete it from File Explorer. Just select it, right click it and select delete or select it and tap the delete key on your keyboard. If you want to delete it from command prompt, you have to run this command that you see on your screen. If you delete a junction link, it's not going to delete the files inside the target folder. So for example, if I delete this link here and I open my target folder here, you can see that the file is still there. Junction links are created between folders. They can be created between files and they have to be created between folders that are located on local drives. They cannot be created between network drives and local drives. That's about it. I'll see you later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.